Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for being with us. New on the four in about a month, families will be able to move back into the newly remodeled South Town at Edge Hill Families Units. The first phase in the redevelopment is now complete. It is a project Birmingham City leaders and developers hope will transform the magic city. Your reporter Tristan Rupert joins us now live with a look at these new units and we just saw what looked like a lot of excited folks there, Tristan. That's right, Sarah. A lot of smiles at today's ribbon cutting, and that's because they're soon going to be able to move back in to the South Town at Edge Hill property. The family side now complete. That's what today's ribbon cutting signifies, but still, that's only about 60 of the 200 plus affordable housing units that are going to be made available. 140 more set to come forward in the next year, I'd say. And of course, residents are excited about taking advantage of all the new amenities. It's a uh big upgrade from where we are and where we're coming from so we're going to actually make sure we take care of this place friday's ribbon cutting signified the end of phase one for the south town at edge hill redevelopment the new facility boasts a business center community and education rooms for families and students and each unit also comes with a washer and dryer the old product was uh, functionally obsolete it was actually years past the time that it should have been redeveloped and I'm just glad we were able to do it. There is, uh, there's truly no comparison between uh, this building and the other building coming in and the, the old stock of housing. Families will begin moving into 60 different family units in early October. Stephen Heidinger with Breck Development says Breck and the other developers expect to finish constructing the 143 other affordable housing units in the second quarter of 2025. We also asked him which businesses would be joining the mixed-use property. There's quite a bit on the board right now, but, but uh, I, I can't say because we haven't confirmed everything yet. Now, once we know which business we will be joining, we'll, of course, update you both on air and online. But developers say construction began on this portion of the property back in April of 2023. Uh, but they say, really, this is a project that was over a decade in the making. So uh, no reason or obvious, I should say, why so many people were smiling today at that ribbon cutting. Sarah, your reporter in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC 6 News on your side.